Hi well guys and welcome to 123 MyT's video on how to download an offline copy of OSX Sierra. Okay guys, so why would you want to download a copy of OSX Sierra? Well, when you have an offline copy, that means that you can then install it on any Mac. So let's say for example you wanted to sell your Mac, you wanted to wipe all the data that was on the local hard drive of your Mac before you sold it, then you could go through and, and uh, reinstall the operating system or the OS, the Mac OS. Sierra um, on your system. Another good thing about uh, having the offline copy is you can actually install it on other Macs. Also, Apple tends to update this software once a year, so if you don't download a copy at some stage and you wanted to reinstall this particular version on a particular Mac, then you wouldn't have a copy of it to do that. So you would just be able, to, you would just have to install the latest one that uh, Apple wants you to install. Okay, so it's pretty straightforward. All you need to do is go down to Safari and then go to the Apple Store. All right, and you go up to the top of the page and in the search bar there, you just want to go OS X and then hit return. Click on Mac OS Sierra. All right, now you just want to hit upgrade now. now Normally what it will do is it will take you to this page here, uh, the App Store Preview, and you can click on this bar. And I've actually got the install, but there is actually a download. If, if, if you um, haven't done this already, I've already done it because I've, I've downloaded the copy onto the desktop here. Um, but if you, haven't, if you haven't done it, just simply click on here and then click Download. When it downloads, it will actually put it down in your launch pad here. All right, and you can see once we click on it, it will start to actually install. All right, so there you go. Continue, and then we could continue to upgrade. At the moment, I'm running um, an earlier version, OSX Yosemite, which is uh, a few years old now, um, but I prefer it over, over the, the later version, so I'm sticking with that. So if you wanted to then make an offline copy of this file, um, and you want, it to, you want to actually move it from... Uh, your launch pad here. You can go into Go and then Applications and then you should be able to find the copy of Sierra here. Just right click on it and copy and then go to your desktop or wherever you want to copy it to. Sometimes it's good to just to put this on an external hard drive if you've got a bigger hard drive or anything like that and you can just paste it there and we'll, we'll just say for now we're just going to replace it now if you look at this here and we go to get info, you can see the size of it, it's about 4 gigs in size, four, almost 5 gigs in size. So this bit of software, um, you can actually also install it on a USB, okay, and I'll, I'll do a video of that uh, shortly, but basically if you wanted to install this on a USB, let's say you had some problem with your Mac and you wanted to do a fresh reinstall, let's say you got a virus or something like that, what you can do is follow my um, video, which will be on the 123myit.com website, on how to then extract this and put it onto a USB, and then I'll show you how to basically reload uh, a Mac uh, with, the, with the new version of Mac OS X Sierra. Okay, guys, so that's pretty much it. If this was helpful, please leave a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.